first chemotherapy treatment and I'm feeling okay. Relief, which is quite nice. Everyone was really friendly, um, really welcoming, they put me at ease, they explained everything. I think patients are terrified when they're told they've got to have chemotherapy and it's that first, it, it's almost that waiting between being told your treatment plan to getting started. I turned around to Lorna and I said to her, I can't do chemo. Because I think the preconception that we have of chemo is that it's so tough on the body that it kills you as much as the cancer. I was scared about all the horrible side effects you read on the internet. I didn't know much about chemotherapy. I didn't know that there were so many different chemotherapy drugs. The doctors and the nurses, they will educate you, they'll tell you everything in order to understand what's happening to your body. Historically, chemotherapy was the term that's used, but now we're moving forward to using the term systemic therapy. There are still traditional chemotherapy regimes being given, but there are also much newer treatments such as immunotherapy and also targeted therapies. Some of these are given intravenously, which is into the, into the vein. Some are given as a tablet form. Some are given as an injection into the skin. It's very hard when you're a patient because you've been through a process where you've seen lots of different specialists at lots of different time points, and often quite quickly, without having an opportunity for the dust to settle. The rationale of being seen in the joint service between the Marsden and Kingston is to ensure that we give our patients enough time, uh, enough privacy and enough expertise to be able to go through their diagnosis, answer all the questions that they need to have answered and to be able to come to a joint decision as to the best way forward in treating their particular cancer. The whole planning of the treatment I was having was brilliant. You know, Dr Parton explained what was going to happen when and how the cycles would work. It was all concrete, set dates, and you had your appointments and everything, which was, for me, personally, was great. We put patient at the centre of everything we do. And patient interest, patient feeling, patient satisfaction is the most important thing on our unit. I had a couple of episodes in the room where I had a reaction to the drug I was having, but it was all dealt with really well, very professionally, and very caring staff were were really good, handled it brilliantly. You're given a dedicated nurse every time you have treatment. They explain everything to you, they're with you every step of the journey. I just love that when patients come in, I'm able to put them at ease because they're nervous, they are very nervous. The support that you have here, incredibly talented oncologists, the nurses are incredible. I look forward to treatment day because you feel safe in that room and there's banter in the room, camaraderie definitely. It's actually a nice room to be in. And I always recommend that if you're having treatment, particularly the first one or two cycles, is to keep a diary because you find side effects happen in a sort of a pattern. Is it something you're eating that's triggering it or is it smells? So there's lots of things we can do if you tell us. A lot of patients continue as normal, they continue working, they continue as normal with day-to-day -day life, they have young families and we want them to live as normal as possible while they're having their treatment. It's quite hard seeing someone who's unwell and not being able to do anything for them. So there is counselling available for friends and family, not just for the person having treatment. The staff have put you, put you at ease um, and they don't just treat Sharon, they do say we are treating your wife but you're not alone, we are here for you too. If, if you're struggling, there's no need to struggle alone, there's people around to help out. Everybody in that unit, they want to help you, they want to make you feel at ease. Um, they understand that this isn't a fun time, that, um, that you are probably having one of the worst days. If we can get a big smile and say, oh my God, you make it really, really easy, this is the best we can get, and that's what, how we try to work. I've smiled all morning because they've been laughing in there, they've been joking in there. Silly things like they, they come around with your tea and your coffee and your biscuits and all those little niceties that actually, yeah, I do really want a cup of coffee and a biscuit right now. The unit itself is not very hospital -y, if that's the right word. We're in the Hilton of the, the chemo suites here. I mean, we're so lucky. The care that people have, you know, you get just fabulous nurses. I firmly believe that you get the best of the best.
I have a CNS, so my cancer nurse specialist, that I can phone any time. It's nice to have that reassurance that there is someone there 24-7. Please always contact somebody. If, it's, if I can't help you, I can point you out to somebody who can help you. <laughs> it's been a positive experience. At the moment, I feel okay. That's made me feel much more at ease about the next cycle. It's a huge emotional roller coaster for them, and I think our job is to is to make sure that roller coaster is as seamless as possible. Everyone's affected in their different way, but whatever it is, you find a way to cope. There's no right way of coping. There's no wrong way of coping. <sighs> take a day at a time. Breathe. And take a day at a time. It's quite normal to feel anxious, but the main thing is that you're not on your own. Don't expect the worst. Try and stay positive and it's not as bad as you think it's going to be. Hemo saved my life. It's, well, it's saving my It's currently saving my life. Um, and I've no regrets about having it. I'm grateful for it. And I'd urge people to have it. <laughs>